Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your week four screencast video. So as I mentioned here in my announcement, this is the midpoint of your eight-week course. I'm begging you not to underestimate or procrastinate on the major assignments, uh, especially with the annotated bibliography that is due week five. So please, I've seen some um, really good good source information and discussion about sources and research in the week three chapter two discussion boards so you want to keep researching keep accumulating those sources that you need for the annotated bibliography as you will notice this week we do have only one discussion board post and response um, hopefully you can, and everybody knocks that out of the way relatively quickly. It's not a difficult post for discussion board number seven. Just as a reminder, um, I will start, and I am rotating uh, discussion boards down toward the bottom to keep the current ones up toward the top of the discussion board forum. I will also do that with the weekly modules. I'll start moving things around. I've opened up the uh, week four and week five uh, modules. So you wanna be aware that this one post this week is to allow you time to uh, prepare and work on the annotated bibliography, which is due the beginning of week five. I believe it's due July 11th. So let's get over to the weekly module. Here we are, week four, chapter three. Gives you all the basic information. I'll have a lecture video posted up about midweek. Um, I'm currently working on that particular discussion. Uh, I should say that discussion, lecture video, excuse me. Here is our discussion board post on the triad, whether it's paraphrasing, uh, quoting or summary. I think it's important. Now that we've researched our information, what do we do with it? And that's the focus of chapter three, the writing in the middle. I love chapter three because locating uh, source material that may that is relevant is important. But how do you really find that source information that will uh, contribute to your conversation, to your topic? All right. I've copied over the assignment here, the instructions for uh, the annotated bibliography from um, week uh, three and the week four here. Remember, you need eight sources. I provided the example here and also the instructional video I want to point out to you. Videos have some great information uh, about your assignments. Also, I'm looking for the three-part annotation for each of your sources all right so there's the instructional video there be aware and i want to remind everybody about the categories of uh, source information for the annotated whether it's published books and articles internet sources multimedia sources or living sources or field work so it points you in direction of the curious researcher um your I mean, any mla guide uh whether it's, uh, well, my favorite is the Purdue Owl. They will turn around and provide you how to cite an interview if you choose to interview somebody. Or if you have a uh, multimedia source, something like a TED Talk or a YouTube video or something like that that is relevant to your topic, you can definitely use uh, those as source material. And it's uh, mentioned in the um, instructions. Uh, returning to the announcements here, once again, one discussion board post this week. Continue to work on your annotated bibliography. And if you have any questions or issues, you can contact me uh, in email. And like all of you, it is a busy 4th of a July weekend. So I will be out and about enjoying, uh, well, not so much the weather, but the holiday and family. So uh, that might take me a minute to uh, get back to you on the email uh, message there. All right, have a good and safe holiday. Good luck.